response. The response of oftentimes has been the PDP did not ask people to go and steal money or, you know, let them quickly face their trial and let, let, them see what, let us see what happens in court. Isn't that a satisfactory answer for well, you? Well, what I expect from the media is any time the PDP speaks of corruption, the media must remind I do not know. I do not know if you watch that program to the end. I do not know if you watch the program to the end, but I do not think, and I know my colleague, Shion Kimbaloi, very well, I do not think that he gave the PDP spokesperson an easy ride. But then let me take you to this comment from Mr. Femi Fanikaude, who says that this is a clear violation of the concept of separation of powers, which gives the judiciary alone the power to determine the guilt or otherwise of an accused person. Now he says that um, he wondered how an accused person is expected to get fair trial when the government has already pronounced him guilty. Well, the word alleged is on that list. It's about stating a fact. We seriously suspect you of having committed an act of corruption or acts of corruption and we have verifiable data and information on that. Simple. Nobody is convicting anybody in the media or without taking the person to court. As a matter of fact, the government has been prosecuting cases, you know, against people alleged to have committed corrupt practices and acts. Mr. Etiaba, what do you say to that? Because this is what he's saying. He says it's, a, it's a, a violation of the principle of separation of powers. If alleged is in front of it, I mean, in front of the names of the alleged looters, put it that way, uh, do you think that it is violating the powers of the court to determine whether or it not is, they're guilty? It is a constitutional violation, which is uh, very fundamental. Uh, Fanny Kayade is able to say this because he's a lawyer. He's able to say because he's very enlightened. And my brother here should, as a lawyer, at least own up to the fact that when a matter has been placed before a court of competent jurisdiction, every other comment will cease until judgment comes. That is the law. Everybody knows it is taught in the university. It is taught at the law school. It is taught in chambers. That is one. Number two, I would... I would, I would, I would, I would also want to deal with uh, the perception and the mind game that is at play in Nigeria. I sit here and I listen to my brother talk about how corrupt PDP is, how shameful, and how they should carry on as people who are guilty. Is it not in this country that the state government in, in, this, in South South constituted a judicial panel that indicted somebody who is a minister today? Is it not in this country that in a kitty state, a judicial panel of inquiry was set up and it indicted somebody who is a federal minister today who has indicated interest that he will contest election again, once again? What has happened? We're sweeping it on, under the carpet because it is APC. I said people funded the APC in 2015. If you do not have a scene, cast the first stone. Let us forget about all this brouhaha, all this uh, you know, uh, sitting on the high horse and proclaiming yourself a pope. We all know that we have all seen and come short of the glory of God. All of them politicians, look at the Senate when they sit in plenary. Is it not the same voice you hear from APC, from PDP, from APGA? It's the same people, the same Nigerians. Why are we dichotomizing, talking about APC, PDP, remind PDP that they stole. Did the PC not steal? Are they not stealing? Who are they telling? So if that is the case, should the PDP really be protesting? The PDP is saying equal right and justice. Equal right and justice. And that's something that this, this government has introduced. And it is called hate speech. When you say that a given people, you lump people together, are bad. It is terrible. I watched the colloquium in, in Lorry, where they discussed headsmen and all that. And my big brother and revered senior advocate of Nigeria, Yusuf Ali, said, when the headsmen err, they should be treated as criminals, not saying that they are full knees. Stop criminalizing a tribe in Nigeria. Treat them as criminals. Do whatever you do to criminals to them. If a, a PDP member steals, stigmatize him, deal with him. Not to say PDP, PDP, because we know what is going on. What is going on is about 2019. 
So you kill the you demarket PDP. Stop demarketing PDP. Talk about individuals and tell Nigerians what you have done with the power you got in 2015. Are we kids? Mm. Do you want to quickly respond to that? Well, because uh, I mean, you made that first comment that you wish this list had come earlier. Much, now much it earlier. is in 2018, much, much and earlier. people are saying, "Is this really about the fight against corruption, or this is about politics?" Well, they asked for it, and they got it. They were trying to play on the sensibilities of. Of, of people. Doesn't this trivialize the entire? Let's be it, very it honest. Doesn't. If we it say doesn't that indeed this country has been bled, and if we say that, oh look, we, it's even very difficult. The, the federal government acknowledges, <coughs> excuse me, for to go with the comment of the vice president, that corruption is systemic, and we cannot say that we have been able to fight, bring it to a, a complete halt. What he says is that we've been able to deal with grand corruption. That's what he's talked about. That's true. He acknowledges that there is still corruption in the system. Absolutely. If there is corruption in the system, do you think that lists like this helps us to be serious as a people and tackle it holistically as it's, we ought to? It's a right step in the right direction. Whatever you do to curb or to fight corruption is a right step. 